Very short episode today, everybody, but I hope it's a thinker. I hope it gets you thinking about your superpowers. First, if you want superpowers in a very real sense, head over to kettleandfire.com. Get yourself some bone broth. It will charge you up. Fill up your box. Get 10% off with code BETTERHUMANHOOD at checkout. We're going to keep that read short today since the episode is so short and I don't want it to be the whole thing. It's kettleandfire.com. Fill up your box and use code BETTERHUMANHOOD at checkout. Now let's do the show. Welcome to Better Humanhood, where we build a better world by building better people. We have to live on the planet, and we have to live with other people. We have conversations about making that a wonderful proposition. Hey there, welcome or welcome back to Better Humanhood. Hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful hour, wonderful minute, fantastic moment right now. Because, you know, right now is what we have, and it just keeps becoming a new right now. So I hope you are having a series of fantastic right nows. Mark Henson's favorite superhero is Batman. He is the author of Ordinary Superpowers. He says he's drawn to the fact that Batman is a regular human. He didn't inherit any unusual power. There's not a mutation. He did inherit an incredible amount of wealth. When it comes down to it, Batman is just a dude in a mask. We talked to him on the JKWD podcast a while back. I'll have a link to that in the show notes. But let's talk about superpowers a little bit. I've been thinking about his concept of ordinary superpowers. You probably get it pretty quickly when you hear it, ordinary superpowers, There's something that you do better than a lot of other people. Me, for example, I'm very good at taking lots of complex information, distilling it down to something most people can understand. That's why I write a blog. That's why I write a. That's why I have the podcast. I work stuff out I'm interested in. Hopefully, I can make it interesting for you too. If it's super complex, hopefully, we make it easier. You, I don't know, you might be great at connecting people. You might be a great networker. You might kill it on the dance floor. You might be great at understanding emotions. You might be fantastic at calming down excited dogs or wrangling toddlers. The point is, you are really good at something. Now, I don't know why I've been thinking about superheroes. I was never into comics when I was a kid. I didn't really understand much about the genre at all really, until all these movies started hitting Netflix. I didn't really understand even that DC and Marvel were different and rivals and they had their different universes. It seems there are a couple of modes of superheroes. One is the Batman model. Somebody who appears ordinary, has a suit that he puts on to keep his normal world identity secret while he goes out to save the world. In Batman's case, it's a well-appointed stuff with a bunch of it's a well-appointed suit with a bunch of fancy stuff on it. Same with Iron Man. In Spider-Man's case, the suit just hides his identity. The suit itself doesn't do anything. He's got a mutation with his web-slinging ability. Yeah, you know, that's another kind of thing is to have the more is to have the mutation, right? The other model is the not of this world model like X Men, Hellboy, Thor? They're superheroes that wield their powers openly and it doesn't matter, right? Then there's Superman. Superman's natural state is one of super is one of superpowers, but he puts on a costume to become an everyday guy. Well everybody else who needs to hide who they are, they put on a suit to become the superhero. They They're a normal person, and they add a suit, and suddenly they're a superhero, not Superman. Superman's everyday life is that of a superhero, but he puts on a disguise to become normal. That, to me, that's the kind of superhero 
I would want to be. How about you? Who's your favorite superhero? Why? Now, I don't know that I'd necessarily need the strength. Definitely don't need flight because I'm afraid of heights. That would be pretty cool. I think if I were going to take a, a superpower, it would be something like like the Star Trek transporter. You know, beam me up. I would rather just be able to appear somewhere else, make, make travel a whole lot faster, that kind of thing. I don't know. Who knows what that does to the molecules? Maybe I you know, wind up somewhere with my knee on my nose because the, the molecules didn't arrange themselves right. I don't know. How do time zones affect it? Eh, whatever. Not really interested in the superpower as much as wielding your superpowers as your everyday persona. And when it's appropriate, hide them. Not the other way around. See what I'm getting at? Be that superhuman you whenever you can. Don't just let it peek out sometimes. Kettleandfire.com. Use code BETTERHUMANHOOD at checkout for 10% off your order. Rate and review the show. That'll help more people find it. Be who you are. Be who you will to do. We'll see you. Thank you for listening. Get show notes and more at BetterHumanHood.com. Leave us a rating and review wherever you listen to podcasts. And have yourself a wonderful day.